Matty, congratulations. How important was that win today? Massive, um, particularly to build on the Ultracrim result at home. I think the gaff will be delighted with a couple of clean sheets in, in two games, but for us, it just gives us a massive sense of belief now that we can really push on. I believe, I'm, I'm looked at say we have, gets up to third. Third now. Um, so when we when we left Edger Park, well, when we were coming off the pitch, the uh, sense of pride from the fans was brilliant and uh, we can carry that on. I'm sure we're going to take a load now to Alty, but it's massive for us and it's, I think it's got the fans dreaming a little bit now, hopefully. But we need to keep our feet on the floor, obviously. A bit of a football cliche, but every game as it comes, so um, it's just a massive boost for us. I watched you there cooling down in front of the, the fans as they left the ground. Good place to go and cool down, by the way, wasn't it? Uh, some of the comments and the, the fans, the reactions, it was fantastic, wasn't it? Yeah, it's brilliant. Um, I think that interaction between the fans and the players has is, is just built throughout the season, to be honest, with the kids' Christmas do and um, lads giving up the time to come and do community stuff. So that that's all part of what we have to do here. And I think the bond between us and, and the fans is tremendous. Away from home, the support is, is second to none. It's better than anybody else in the league and, and leagues above that. But 3,700 here again wow. today is just unbelievable. I mean, all credit to them. They're, uh, they're as loyal as they come and as loud as they come as well today. 11 unbeaten, yeah, you mentioned belief. Where has that belief come from, that sense of momentum now that you've got? I haven't got an answer for you, to be honest. We've just worked really hard and, and bought into what the gaffer's trying to coach us on the training pitch and applying it to games, and we've, and we've found that it's that it's been working. We had a, a particular strategy against Altrincham, which I felt they came up, come unstuck mm. against. Um, and against these, it was slightly different today. Um, but we know if we, if we play on the front foot and we play positive, then... We've got to beat the majority of the teams in this league, I think, now. What about from a personal perspective? Because you really seem to be enjoying your football again, don't you? You're playing with a smile on your face. And that wasn't necessarily true right at the start of the season. No, that's probably the first one to say. That started the season slowly. I think um, a comment that stuck in my mind from, from when I read it on the social media was that I was a one-season wonder. And I read it and I thought, OK. I didn't write that, did no, I? No, probably <laughs> Just Sam. check it. Probably Sam, yeah. um, <laughs> And I read it and I thought, right. I, and it was kind of a bit hit home for me because after about six games, I think I'd scored two and I wasn't playing particularly well. Mm. Um, and I thought, I can't let that happen. I don't want the fans to see me as a one-season wonder. Don't the manager just see me as a one-season wonder. So, no, it's great. I'm, I'm enjoying playing back in the 10 position. Um, football is all about enjoyment, isn't it, at the end yeah. of the day? and playing with the lads around me that are now a really good strong group of mates and when you're getting wins like that it is enjoyable when you're not um, it's obviously difficult but no it's uh, I'm, I am enjoying my footy and I'm, I'm really enjoying where I am at the moment I know the lads talking about the prospect of finishing in top spot which really didn't seem achievable a few months ago a few rumours um, <laughs> I can't really say much else that no one's getting too ahead of themselves but there's a few little whispers going around with a little bit of sense of belief that we can we can do this mm. And then, of course, you've got that tough trip to Altrincham now on New Year's Day, but then the big one here, the league leaders back at Edgley Park, Bradford Park yeah, Avenue, a, and they've had a great season, haven't they? Yeah, it's massive two couple of games. The one at Altrincham away is a, is a big one for me personally. It's five minutes away from my house or ten minutes <laughs> away from my house, so there'll be a lot of people that I know personally that will be down there. I'm sure we'll take a massive following, particularly after today. And then Bradford have... Um, every credit to them but they're probably oh. punched above the weight um, to be fair to them but all credit to, to them and, and the manager who seems to have got a really good team in that are working for them so that's going to be a really difficult test I mean we drew it at the start of the season and probably should have won it I mean I missed the penalty to be honest but <laughs> i say that slightly quietly and uh, we should have won there for being honest but no it's a, it's a really interesting but big couple of games coming up and hopefully take momentum from this we've got every chance well, you've got uh, a Man of the Match award to get. And you managed to get some song titles in this interview, haven't you, as well? Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> well done, top man. Cheers, Happy mate. New Year. Thank you. All Thanks the best. Very much. <laughs>